Hi, welcome to this section. In this section, we will be going over how to register for a free Snowflake account. Now, before we dive into that part, um, we'll just take a little bit about Snowflake and why Snowflake still remains like a very good option. Um, it's not just the fact that it's been well adopted by, you know, companies, but also it's very, the ease to use Snowflake um, because then you can just essentially um, register, you could just, you know, have a Snowflake account without necessarily having to set up anything. And so um, now we will just go over to how to um, essentially set up for a Snowflake account. Uh, and all you just have to do is to Google Snowflake, or you could go straight to snowflake.com. I'm just going to make this screen a bit, you know, um, so here you would notice that on the top right corner of your screen, you would have the option to start for free. So when you click to start for free, it comes out with the, um, you know, start your 30 day free trial, um, page well, here you can add your name. So I will be adding my name, Abdul Hakim, the cool. And, um, here I will add, you add your, um, email address. So I will add our email address. And then I just write Ryflux. And then here you are free to essentially select any row. I will be putting a BI analyst and selecting Germany. If you would like to receive some emails from Snowflake marketing emails, essentially. You could uh, take this, but I'm going to let, let this slide. And then now you could click continue. And then it takes you to this page where you are essentially prompted to either select the standard um, edition or enterprise edition or the business critical. I am going to select the business critical just for, you know, selected sake. Um, essentially here, you then have to just select which cloud provider you would like to use. I have to just select AWS. I would advise you stay in this zone as well. Select this region. And then now you have to check to agree um, the terms of Snowflake. So I will just check this box and click get, get started. Um, you might be prompted to fill a similar type of, you know, um, capture like this. I'm just going to select what I think to be a steers. And then, yes, and then now you have some survey, but I will skip the survey. So now, uh, you have, you're essentially now signed up to, uh, Bright to, to the Snowflake, uh, free account, which is like a 30 days account that includes like 400, uh, compute cost. Um, and so you would, uh, immediately receive an activation, you know, email. And you'll be prompted to, to, you know, activate. So in your email, you should have some similar mail like this. Um, and then when you click to activate it, then it essentially activates your, um, account. One thing you would notice is that you would have like a link, similar link to this, which will be sort of unique to your, you know, um, Snowflake account. This, um, link is very important for you when you choose to log in. Um, in future. So one thing you might just want to do is essentially just copy this and maybe bookmark it, right? So we will just come here, copy, and then maybe bookmark it. Okay. I think I have extra uh, period sign. So then you can maybe just bookmark it here and say, oh, this is my, um, perhaps I just call this, this my maybe snowflake account. For easy retrieval. And then, um, then you have that already bookmarked. So in the future, if you need to sort of, uh, come here to sign in, then you would easily have the yeah, um, access to do that. But, um, in the meantime, the link that we click to activate already brought us to select the username and a password. So I'm just going to select something like you know, bright flux. 
um, maybe call it Bifox 2023. And then I will set password. I think we have some regulations as regards what type of, you know, passwords you can keep. So I think it has to be um, at least eight digits, which has to have one number and one, uh, you know, zero, zero special characters and uh, yeah, one uppercase and lowercase. So now um, I have selected my, you know, I have selected my, uh, um, my account. I have selected my username. And so in the future, I will be able to essentially, you know, use the username to, to log into the account. And this is essentially how to register for a free Snowflake account. Um, in the next uh, lecture, I will essentially show you the environment, uh, the working environment before then. Uh, we will then dive into SQL. Thank you. Um, and looking to catch up with you in the next one. Thanks.